And tonight we are getting answers to questions many of you parents and students have after a health scare at a high school in Arapahoe County. Classes at Eagle Crest High School canceled today after a teacher died over the weekend, possibly from bacterial meningitis. We did just learn that the school is back open and on for tomorrow. We've also learned another educator has passed away. How that person died is also being investigated. Dylan Thomas is working on the story for you tonight. And Dylan, health experts this afternoon sharing what we know at this time. Now, Karen, a doctor here with Denver Health says contracting bacterial meningitis is so rare that in the entire state of Colorado, we average less than 10 cases per year. But as Eagle Crest High community continues to mourn the loss of two educators within 24 hours of each other, doctors say students and staff returning to class tomorrow should not be overly concerned about their health. It's very important that we notify close contacts as quickly as possible. The Arapahoe County Health Department and Cherry Creek Schools are working tirelessly to contact Trace. After two educators at Eagle Crest High died over the weekend, one with a confirmed case of bacterial meningitis. So we wanted to move very quickly. Both educators that died worked in the same department, but Cherry Creek School says their deaths were unrelated, and the health department is only investigating one case of bacterial meningitis. The district provided the health department with names and contact information of students and staff who were close contacts with the confirmed case, but making the calls takes time. Every phone call leads to other contacts. For the general public, the risk is low. And it's fairly rare, uh, thankfully. Denver Health's Dr. Robert Belknap says bacteria meningitis isn't picked up off of a surface and typically requires close contact for extended time to contract. This is not something that people need to be concerned that they're uh, that the school is unsafe. Elementary, high school settings in particular are not uh, high risk settings. Um, it's really, we think of uh, dormitory style settings where people are, are really living in close quarters, um, that that's an increased risk. Karen, doctors tell us that symptoms of bacterial meningitis include uh, stiffness in your neck, fever, confusion, and rash. Well, Dylan, I know so many people are concerned. If they are worried that they may have actually been exposed, what should they do? Well, the good news is, is that there is a vaccine for bacterial meningitis that would help prevent you from getting it in advance. But for those who were potentially exposed in the past week, they are being encouraged to go get a prescription for an antibiotic, Karen. Yeah, just to be careful. All right, Dylan, thank you so much. First alert, weather.